Our next guest is so much fun. She is a serial entrepreneur and she has so much to offer for these wonderful kids in Orange County. And her name is Dr. Letitia Wright and we are so excited to have her on the show. Thank you so much for having me. This is great. It's great fun and it's great to be with you. It is great to see you again. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. In. You know, you have such an amazing history. Like tell us a little bit about some of the you're a serial entrepreneur. So tell us a little bit about your background and what brought you to stand up for kids. Absolutely. So, uh, what brought me to stand up for kids is a great story. I always tell people that my teaching partner, Carlia Ofather, tricked me into a teacher at Stand Up For Kids. She uh, wanted to put on an entrepreneur program and she asked me to teach for just the first couple of weeks of the very first program. Mm -hmm. And I said, sure, I'd love to be a part of that. This sounds so exciting. Her idea was to bring entrepreneurship to kids to help prevent homelessness, which Stand Up For Kids is all about. We're all about stopping, preventing homelessness, intervening on homelessness for children. So they serve kids up to age 24. Mm, and wonderful. so her idea was, if we could teach entrepreneurship, wouldn't that help stave off some kids from being homeless? And so I'm all about that. Absolutely. And so for the very first program, I agreed to come in and teach my little part. And somehow, by the end of the program, I was still there. It's like fostering a you puppy, right? Ask you somebody to do something they love. You know they're not going to leave. They're not going to leave. So <laughs> maybe that right. was her idea, her, her whole thing. That's right. And the end of the first program, our kids pitched. They pitched um, at the Irvine uh, Center, at the you know tech center. It was really, really great. And they won money and won over $5,000 oh. from entrepreneurs that you know, graded their pitch and they won money. And so it was just an amazing experience. And our top kid flew to New York for the big competition to compete with kids all over the United States. Oh, wow. And so it was a wonderful experience for Jessica. She had just a really great time there. And so um, I just, you know, Carly and I are just a really great team. We're very different, but we just have a really great uh, vision in terms of the same vision. And so she asked, hey, want to do this again? And I was like, yeah, you I think can. I do. Absolutely. <laughs> You're such a great teacher. I mean, you've been teaching crowdfunding. You've been teaching fundraising. You teach people how to start businesses. You've been consulting and coaching and teaching all your life. I have. I have. And so I, I have to say, working with youth is a lot more fun than I imagined. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, you couldn't have explain to me, you know, five years ago, hey, this is what you'd be doing. I'd say, stop smoking that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Uh, but I enjoy it so much. And uh, Carlia has been so, Carlia Oldfather is my teaching partner. She's been so supportive in terms of making sure I have a program manager that, you know, run, helps me support everything that I'm doing. Uh, and the way we run the program is that we start with the kids it's their idea for whatever business. Mm -hmm. So however lofty and wispy it is, we take them through the whole thing of getting to the point of what is the business, developing it, and getting it to the point where they can launch it. Now the older they are, of course, the more practical the businesses are mm -hmm. and the more ability they have to launch. Mm -hmm. Last, the last class that were junior high kids, they were amazing. Uh, they were at Sycamore Junior High in Anaheim. And we just had a great time. So we had all kinds of businesses. One young lady wants to be a lawyer. She already knows that she wants to be a lawyer. And so her thing was she was going to have a law firm. So by the time that she got through, you know, finishing uh, the planning, she knew her building was going to cost about $6 million. And so she had this whole plan out. And she's like, Dr. Wright, this is going to be $6 million. And I said, yeah, that's about right. Because she wasn't sure. You know, she's a kid. Yeah, so she's putting it together going, wait, are these numbers even like yeah. in the ballpark? And then you were able to say, you came to it on your own, and yes, you're right. You're right. That's and then amazing. did you say if you go to Iowa, it could be less than a million? <laughs> <laughs> well, she, you know, she lives here. And, but you know what? Her law firm idea is very, very solid, and she lives here. She wants to be here. That's great. She wants to have a law firm. It's called, uh, she already has a name for it. It's called Women Empowered. Mm -hmm. And she wants to have a law firm where you don't have to leave to get anything you want. So if you need the divorce, 
you will find a divorce lawyer here. Mm. You need something else. You don't have to leave her building. She mm -hmm. has that other kind of lawyer here. Mm -hmm. And she got it out of her own frustration of seeing her family and her family members having to go from lawyer's office to lawyer's office to lawyer's office. And some people don't have a car and catching a bus and all mm. that. So she saw it out of her own frustration. This same kid, she, this kid was amazing. This same kid also negotiated a contract because she decided that she wanted to have a coffee shop in her building. So we started talking. She says, Dr. Wright, I'm going to talk to Starbucks about having a coffee shop. I said, great, that's perfect. You're going to have income coming into your yeah, building. that's smart. I said, now if they say no, who else are you going to talk to? So we started naming through. And then one of the other kids in class, whose business is a coffee shop, they raised their hand and they said, well, what about us? Oh, and wow. <laughs> they're learning the collaboration. <laughs> Collaborating already. Oh, my gosh, oh that's a really neat. So, you know what yeah. I love about this is that it's so, so um, practical. And you're taking mm -hmm. those lessons and you're putting them in real world situations. I frequently have, um, when, you know, I, I am employ marketing people, right? And one of the biggest concerns that comes out of, you know, this, of when they, you know, start with us is, like, why didn't I learn any of this in school, you know? Mm -hmm. And I found the same thing. For me, it teaches you how to think, and school is very valuable. But to be able to teach those practical lessons like yeah. you do, oh, you just can't get, you can't get a better teacher than that. But what I especially love is that you're you're really attacking the problem before it's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. That these kids are going to have skills that are going to let them make money. They are going to understand the value of having a business and employing other people. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's already got a whole corral of lawyers that she's going to employ. And this other kid has his people, his baristas, I mean, they're thinking differently. It's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. It is. It's absolutely amazing. So they're all, and they're all kids from, they were not, they were very supportive of each other as a class, but they were not all from the same cliques. Mm -hmm. So inside that class, I had the A students, but I also had some B students. Mm -hmm. And so explaining to the kids that everybody who's an entrepreneur is not going to be an A student. Now, I tell the kids, I'm not giving you permission to give you Ds, but I just need you to understand that not having good grades doesn't mean that you're not going to be successful. And when we have the graduation, I also say the same thing to the parents. Parents, mm -hmm. you need to understand, just because your kid is not getting straight A's doesn't mean they're not smart. I said to you parents, you got that kid that talks and talks and talks all the time. I said, it's okay. You'll be okay. If you don't kill them, it's okay. <laughs> they will be successful. That's I right. I know. I was that kid. I'm making a lot of money talking all the time. They can, <laughs> they can be a TV show host. <laughs> That's right. Well, and you know what? That it, It's so important that you teach those lessons because as parents, right, I have a college student. I have a high school student, a middle school student, and two elementary school students. And you start getting into that, like, narrow-minded thinking like oh no if my kid doesn't get straight A's right. then they're gonna miss their chance to get to college they're gonna miss their chance and then all of a sudden you know you just start getting really worried and then the kids get self-defeated and so that message that you know what school is one of many ways to learn yeah. and you find your niche and you run with it that's beautiful because you got to look at your kids gifts mm -hmm. if your kid is the kid that's going how is that making money? Or the kid, it just has a different look mm -hmm. at everything. Or the kid sees different opportunities. Mm -hmm. If it's snowing outside and your kid wants that, well, we're in Southern mm -hmm. California, so unless you're up in the mountains, it's not snowing mm -hmm. outside. But if your kid, you know, it's raining outside and that kid wants to go clean up that person's yard mm -hmm. and try, that's a different mm -hmm. kid. Mm -hmm. yeah. The kid that wants wants to have a lemonade stand, that's a different kid. That's mm -hmm. something else you have to nurture in them. So you have to give them opportunities. They want to have they want to have a yard sale. Mm -hmm. You don't have to make them have a yard sale. Right. They want to. Mm -hmm. That's a different kid. And there's so many great opportunities. So helping them learn that is just it's so fun. It's such a joy. So, you know, this new set of kids, we're just at the class where they've all just decided what their business is going to be, and now we're naming them. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really very, very That's exciting. exciting. That, is, that is really I'm exciting. just having this vision of like a cut open brain with all this cool stuff going in and out. It's, <laughs> it, visually, for the kids, it's got to be exciting that you're really implanting 
of mm -hmm. hope for the future and skills for the future. So is this the is this the objective it of is. Stand Up in, it is. in general? It is. Well, Stand Up for Kids in general, the objective is, okay, to, to deal with the homelessness issue. But my program, that is definitely, I'm trying to implant ideas. We're trying to get to the point of, you know, how close can we get them to actually launching? Mm -hmm. We also take them on tours. We have some great businesses. Tilly's has hosted us. Mm. Blizzard Entertainment has hosted us. Yeah. Um, it's just been amazing. The businesses that have uh, Flight Deck has mm -hmm. hosted us. They have let us come through and show the kids. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like behind the scenes. And so that's been really amazing. Mm, that's that is cool. wonderful. I think you've got a couple businesses that might be open to doing that. I think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need to <laughs> talk later. <laughs> I love it. And even, even coming here would be amazing because mm -hmm they would get to see, you know, what, what does it look like to be the behind the scenes with a show. I often talk to them about my show, so they're a little bit curious about it. Yeah, you know, thinking of, we should have the kids come yeah. on and talk about the uh, talk about this I would another love time. That. That'd be wonderful. Would they be able to do that? that would, yeah. They would. We have them, si you know me. Sign I, they the have signed a release, <laughs> you know. Come on, Lauren, you know, I've got them signed a release. Absolutely. That's perfect. Well, that sounds like something our yeah, viewers absolutely. would absolutely Absolutely love. I would and love we that. would love to share. Thank you so much. Yes. So we're going to post the website so our viewers can get more information about Stand Up for Kids. Thank you. And that's specifically the standupforkids.org slash Orange County, right? Okay, that's mm -hmm. right. Okay. And how do people get in touch with you to find out more about the entrepreneurship program? They can go to Stand Up for Kids Orange County and actually put that in. Um, and they can email me there. They can also, uh, they can also find me at rightplacetv.com. They can email me directly. I'm everywhere You're online. Very easy yeah, to find. I'm very yeah. easy to find. So they can connect with me if they you know be open to having a tour. If they want to donate, they can donate directly to standupforkids.org forward slash Orange County and they can put in there that it's for the entrepreneur program. Mm -hmm. I have some friends that are giving directly just to make sure yeah. we're you're doing, doing well. It. So uh, we we feed the kids of every class and we have water with every class. So you know, if they want to donate so that we can keep that going, that'd be great. And um, I'm open to any, you know, tours, business tours. Uh, we have speakers come in that cover specific topics. So Excellent. if they'd love to talk to me about it, I would love to share. It's wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And thank it's wonderful to see amazing, smart women making it easier thank for the next so generation. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll be back.